Hey, TRT and Hormone Optimization Group. This is Justin again. And tonight's question is, does hypothyroidism and hypogonadism affect one another? Well, the short answer is yes. In patients who are on testosterone replacement therapy, TRT for short, who have underlying thyroid disease, the introduction of testosterone replacement therapy can actually worsen hypothyroidism, or it can even unmask undiagnosed hypothyroidism. This can also occur with the withdrawal of testosterone replacement therapy as well. So this occurs as gonadosteroids alters the clearance of thyroxine binding globulin. In an otherwise healthy patient who has no thyroid disease, we refer to this as a euthyroid state, this has no clinical significance in this patient. However, in patients who have underlying or undiagnosed hypothyroidism, gonadosteroids can worsen their condition by decreasing thyroxine binding globulin clearance. This means that the patient's thyroid medication dose may need a concomitant adjustment in accordance with their testosterone replacement therapy. Now, this can cause a decrease in total T3 and total T4 and cause an increase in the percent of free T3 and free T4. Also, hypothyroidism can cause hypogonadism itself and it can even, believe it or not, reduce sperm count production. However, with the reintroduction of appropriate thyroid replacement therapy, this can actually restore the patient's gonadal function along with increasing their gonadal sex steroid production. And that production rest restoration occurs at the level of the pituitary by restoring their gonadotrophic activity. Even in patients with subclinical hypothyroidism, subclinical hypothyroidism can result in reduced testosterone levels and result in increased estradiol levels along with increases in their prolactin levels as well. So, this brings us to the question, what does it mean to what what does it mean to you if you suspect that you have thyroid disease and you're on TRT and or considering TRT? Well, as the patient, it you have to be your own advocate and really push that you can have both the TRT and your hypothyroidism thoroughly evaluated. Now, when I say thoroughly evaluated, I mean, don't just get a TSH and rely on the TSH hoping that it's going to give you justice in terms of your diagnosis. Also, take in the clinical symptoms you have in a conjunction with a thorough, appropriate hypothyroidism workup. So, I appreciate y'all attending, listening tonight, and look forward to the next talk where I'll talk about what tests should I have drawn if I suspect I have hypothyroidism. Thanks.